Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with his good friend, Matt, the Lumberjack Landlord. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing super awesome. Excited to talk about this one because I think it's very important. So I don't know if you saw it, but Dion and I had a conversation Thursday where Dion asked me about my course, right? Who should take it? What do you do? What do you, you know, what do you think the goal of the course is? All that stuff. I thought I would come to you today and, and just talk about what, you know, you've been through it. You've seen it. You've added content. Mm -hmm. um, you're in the Facebook group. You interact with people. So from your perspective, who should and who shouldn't take the course? You can go take, take either, either side first. Um, you shouldn't buy it if you're not willing to do the work and you're looking for a magic solution. Amen. I am not that guy. No, I, uh, I'm not selling pixie dust in rainbows nope. and unicorns. Uh, nope. Yeah. If, you, if you're looking to buy a $320 course and suddenly you become a millionaire because you bought it, <clears throat> not me, not that. And, and if you're not going to do the work to your point, trust me when I say I don't need your money. Yeah. Well, I mean, the funny thing was, is like somebody made a comment on my channel and then I responded back offended. Oh. And then they responded back offended. So they were basically saying how hard it was. Mm. I responded offended saying that's offensive to all the people that do the work mm. because we know exactly how hard it is. We put in the time, we do the work, we get the result. Yeah. And then he was offended. He's like, I don't know why you're coming at me so hard. And I was like, because you're whining, Yeah, <laughs> whining. Yeah. It, anything in life worth accomplishing, regardless of what it is, it takes time, effort, energy, and investment. Yeah. Not money, time time. It's what it takes. And sometimes it takes money, but at the end of the day, I like learning new things. Mm -hmm. And so for me, there are things that I'll never do, or I don't believe I'll ever do, um, in the course, like, um, Airbnb. I don't think I've had properties that I've sold. That it just doesn't fit my personality type. Yeah, I don't want to feel like I'm a homemaker or, or, a, or a restaurant or a, or a hotelier. Yeah. That's not how I want to feel. That's not, I want to provide sustainable housing where people have a home to go to after a hard day's work. That's what I want to do. I don't want to do all the matching because I don't want to be, I don't want to be the one responsible because somebody had a bad week in the time that they spent in the house. Yeah. I'm not interested in that. I can't, and I can't guarantee things get fixed in the time that they need to get fixed. I can't guarantee all that stuff. Yeah. So for me, that's just not a fit, but loved learning about it. Yeah, love yeah. seeing what these people look for and you know what you know it's actually helped me price one of the properties that i'm going to sell because i think it's an airbnb that somebody will knock it out of the park on they can make money on it with a normal mortgage but they can knock it out of the park with an airbnb yeah this is right on the water. Front home else. Yeah, yeah it's right on the water dock 20 26 foot dock right off you know 15 steps off the back door wow like it's going to crush for somebody airbnb just not for me yeah i totally agree there's a lot uh, a lot of people looking for wishful thinking or this, that, yeah. the other. Uh, and the other thing I want to say is if you have to charge it on a credit card and you're going to be paying interest on it, don't do it. No, I put out so much stuff for free on YouTube. Just watch there. Yep. Um, but you know, if you're going to, you know, if you, it's not going to be a big deal, you'll pay for it when, when it comes in, uh, go for it. But uh, yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> this is like your last dollar and you're going to, you know, wait for your tax refund to come in and pay for it. Don't do that. Just watch, just watch free on YouTube or, you know, spend 15 bucks on my book. You'd be good. Yes. There is plenty to get you started there mm -hmm. for free, for free, plenty to get you started there for free. And if it, if any part of it feels like it's not a fit for you, like your phone ringing stresses you out right now, in all honesty, my phone ringing stresses me out because we inherited so many tenants. Oh yeah. It stresses me out when my phone rings. I'm like, <laughs> and, yeah, it just, I don't like it. And so it's kind of funny because, you know, we have always bought the buildings, gone through them. And so I knew that they were my caliber. Okay. And now with inheriting tenants and inheriting buildings, they're not to my caliber. Okay. And so because they're not, that stresses me out because I'm just like, I get more calls than I need to. And I shouldn't, but they're calling me because it's the right thing to do, but it's because the building isn't where it needs to be yet. So we're going through the process, literally spending hundreds of thousands of dollars, bringing these properties up to snuff. These are all part of being a landlord. And this largely is what Mike's course is going to teach you to do. Yeah. So it's important to keep that in perspective that all of this requires work, time, effort, energy, investment, it all requires those things. And so if, again, if you like watching Mike's content, if you like learning about the market, it's, and you're willing to you know, understand processes, it's worth its weight in gold. It's, yeah. not, it's not nearly expensive enough. However, if you're not willing to do the work, you should just, get, just go find on. something else. Go create an NFT. Yes. 
Yeah, yeah exactly. Or I, yeah. Go, or go it, do it, a rug pull on a, on a, on a crypto. crypto. <laughs> exactly. Go, go create a coin of your dog's name and see what happens. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It, I feel really good about it. Thousands of people yeah. now have bought it. Uh, thousands of them in the Facebook group, interacting, posting wins, asking questions. Uh, not everybody's done a deal yet, but that's probably okay, right? It, again, my course, like I told Dion, is meant to build confidence in yourself. Yeah. Question number one is what is an average deal in my buy box? Mm -hmm. You're supposed to spend 60 to 90 days answering that one question. Mm -hmm. Once you can answer it confidently, mm -hmm. The world opens up. It gets easy. Yep. Because all you have to do is do good or great. Yep. You know, yeah. grow your network, meet new people, you know, all that stuff. So um, yeah, I feel really good about it. I know it's changing lives. I get, I get no, it's big enough now where I get notes almost every day. Yeah, I can imagine. It's it's I mean, I see it, we see it in the happiest place on the internet, which is yeah. the Facebook group. Yeah. Um, the private Facebook group if you join the course. But I think the other piece of this too is. I look at the, and it's really hard to find the numbers. You literally have to look at some of the guys that destroy fake gurus, like the Spencer Cornelius and the coffee Zillas and these other guys who really do the market a service. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I'm happy to give them my penny yeah. to watch a lot of their different videos. But oh, Spencer really, puts out amazing stuff. I Spencer's love just a, such a stud. Like I was watching him when he was maybe like 10 or 12,000. And now he's like 450,000 subs. Wow. He just blew up, but he's because he puts such great content together. But I think what's really cool about it, though, is that he'll try and do the math and try and look for the numbers. A lot of the gurus and people like that that he exposes either have zero success, mm -hmm. but some of the real estate guys, some of the biggest ones that you're like, man, they're just killing it. They're killing it because of what they charge, not because of how successful people have been. Yeah. And that is a key differentiator because Mike's not getting rich on 320 <laughs> no. No, not happening at all. I know how expensive it is to put this stuff together. I know how expensive it is to, to tech, put all those people yeah. together. The tech, yeah, the tech teachable, everything else. I know how expensive all that stuff is yeah. not making a ton of money, but the, the bigger component to that is most of these other products, most of this other stuff, five, 10, $15,000 stuff, not all of it, but most of it, they have less than a 2% success rate. Yeah. It's funny because uh, Spencer Cornelius, mm -hmm. right before he blew up, he actually did a, a breakdown of one rental at a time, called me a real guru, which yeah. I, I don't like the guru name, but I, I, you know, from Spencer, I took it. Right. Sure. Um, but that was, that was fun. Right. It doesn't, it, positivity doesn't get the, uh, the swag that negativity does, but yeah, if you want to go to Spencer Cornelia's page, and I think you could look up my name, Michael Zuber, or maybe it's just real guru. He did a video huh? where he broke yeah. me down and said, yeah, he's, he's, he's legit. So I, I appreciate it that I've, I've interviewed him a couple of times since then, but uh, yeah, smart how attacking all that. So mm -hmm. again, there's, there's the, the last thing I want to say about the course that I'm actually most proud of. So there's a couple of things when you create a, so I created the course, how I did it, right? Basically one run that I timed the book, how'd I do it? Nuts and bolts, process, focus, daily discipline, everything that is my Zuber. Then I create a Facebook group, frankly, by accident. Dude, I created that amazing Facebook group because I wanted an FAQ, right? You and I are software guys. What do you got to do? You got to have an FAQ, right? So that's why I did frequently, it. it is, frequently asked questions yes. for those who are wondering. Yes. Sorry. And then it's blown up into this happiest place on the internet. It's awesome. I look at it almost every day and I'm not even the biggest poster anymore. There are other people that respond, yes. yourself included, more than I do. It's awesome to watch. Dion does it more than both of us. Yeah, combined, uh, which I appreciate. Yes. Shout out, Dion. Yeah. Thank you. Dion Talk. Um, but the other thing mm -hmm. that this channel has allowed me to do is vet other people. Mm -hmm. So I've been able to add bonus <clears> sections <throat> and my plan this year is to add more of amazing mm -hmm. people that I've gotten to respect and know, such as yourself, the 4321, such as Dion in the binder strategy, such as, you know, April Crosley and Anna and Greg and Jonathan. It's just, it's so fun to see the bonus sections, which get added for free, grow and grow and grow and grow. So. Yeah, I think I think it's the best program out there. Uh, I, I think it's I think if you're a wholesaler flipper, you still need it, right? You got to you until you know average, you're guessing. I would challenge you to find out the number of people that have bought the course mm. and the number of rentals that have been purchased. Ooh, I can try that. Challenge dropped. 
So I want to know how many people bought it. I want to know how many people bought at least a house. Yeah. And then how many total houses have been, because this in large part is what you make of it. I mean, I am a, an elite investor and there's people that have almost as many of those black cards as I have. Yeah. And they were not elite when you, when they, not started. when they started, they yeah. were, and they've just been in the program for a couple of years, three years, time in the market versus timing the market. That's awesome. But something else we talk about real quickly too, is something I recognize this morning. It's a little bit off topic, but I think it's somewhat germane, which is, um, Warren Buffett, we always talk about timing the market versus time in the market. Yeah. yeah. Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway's market cap mm. is $704 billion. Wow. If anyone were to sit here and tell you that they can tell you about the sexiest deal that Warren Buffett did, that they couldn't. And if they did, it probably wouldn't be that sexy. <laughs> yeah. And it just proves that he didn't do these this amazing acquisition that turned yeah. into blah 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 he didn't catch lightning in a bottle no, one time he didn't, he's it 50 was, or no 60 years now he's 91 yeah Damn, no, 70 yeah he's doing his 70 years he, he yeah. bought his first stock at like 13 or something it's crazy yeah and so you look at munger and munger's 97 God. and again you just look at these guys and i have the utmost respect because they became elite at their game but you look at it and you say they did bad deals they did great deals but there's not one that somebody goes, yeah, these guys bought Uber when it was a $30 million company and it turned into a $30 billion company. Yeah, they, they didn't, didn't have do one win. Once. Yeah, they had lots. Which was they, the one that, oh, they, a lot they, of wins. Yeah, they had a lot of singles, right? To use a yes. baseball analogy. It yes. wasn't one lucky swing. Yeah, that's, that's important. Yeah. It's, and, it's, the, it's the difference of Shaquille O'Neal winning scoring titles mm. because he could sink a damn free throw. Yeah. You know, like the guy, it was Hackershack, you know, you can hit him and he gets to the line 16, 18 times a day, a game, but he was sinking six of them or eight yeah. of them. And it's like, he would have averaged 10 more points a game. He would have been literally the, one of the greatest scorers of all time. Yeah. If he just could have been better at something that you have no one coming at you, we can just put the ball in the bucket. Yeah. It is simply practice. Yeah. Just simple, just execution. It's practice and execution and practice and execution. There's nothing sexy about free throws. There isn't. Until the game is on the line, you're down one and you need both to win and you're a 93% free throw shooter. Guess what? You're feeling pretty good about yourself. Yeah. So Clay Thompson, you missed two free throws. You got bailed out because you had good defense in game one. So shout oh, out man. Warriors. I watched that game and I was just like, I was thinking of you and I was watching it too. Oh, and I was just like, Mike <laughs> yeah. Mike must be going mental because Clay is not a bad free throw shooter. No, 80, 86%. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, for uh, him to clank two, I was like, wow. But again, Time in the market versus timing the market, daily discipline, executing daily. You know, this is one of the things that astonishes me about people that want this like quick hit, like they want to be the guy that bought Bitcoin three years ago at 3000 bucks. And now it's 40,000 bucks. I get it. We all want that. We yeah. all would love that. But in lieu of that, you can't let that be the enemy of good execution on a daily basis. And just having time in the market and allowing that opportunity to mature, you just can't beat that. Yeah, Thanks very time. cool. This has been a lot of fun, man. I appreciate you. One last time, where can people find you? Lumberjack Landlord live stream, 1130 a.m. Eastern time on Sundays. And then just during the week, you can find me on Instagram posting cool uh, owner managed stuff, the garbage that I have to see and deal with that Mike doesn't have to. Absolutely. Smarter not. Than me. <laughs> not just a hat rack. <laughs> Hey folks, uh, and if you're in my uh, private, if you are in the private Facebook group, you can always tag the lumberjack uh, and he will answer your questions. He's awesome at that. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Thanks, Mike.